Awakening Giants is many things. It's a collective bringing together thought leaders and social entrepreneurs. It's a journey for transformation. It's a service project. It's a connection of humanity. It's international travel. I could go on and on. I became an awakened giant because I was dead inside of myself. And I didn't know that I was dead. I realized that I wasn't truly living my purpose. Inspiring leaders. Facing their limits. Balancing their heads and their hearts. Leveling up to blaze a bold path forward. Learning to trust themselves and each other. This is Awakening Giants. Welcome to Ecuador. The first thing we're doing here together is transformation. That's our number one purpose. Use this time to find whatever wants to be let go, release, surrender to what is no longer serving us as giants, as this new human, and be able to birth that new possibility for ourselves, for whatever that is, our relationships, our communities, our businesses, and then allow that to ripple out into the world. You have a powerful team here. We are each very skilled in supporting all aspects of transformation. Robin has been a healer, a trained hypnotherapist, and cranial sacral therapist, and many, many more things <laughs> for many years. Eva, of course, is our incredible shaman, um, studying under Don Miguel Ruiz for 12 years as his apprentice. Burge so Smith Lyons is our hosting so thought leader for this trip and Leah, who is our self-care expert, support team, extraordinaire, everything else. <laughs> yes. Many of you don't know each other. So how do you create authentic bonding? How do you become vulnerable to strangers and remain in your authenticity? It is not okay to even tell a little white lie in those environments. We're asking for authenticity. Together, we have to learn how to communicate effectively, how to bond with each other, and how to develop trust. We're asking each of us to look deeply within so that we can express ourselves authentically in our own power with love and with grace we're holding a space here for you it's a safe space so allow yourself to step into that space feel the power of every being here we're all stepping into our essence our power bring all that you are here and let it shine. One of the processes that I do in my graduate level is uh, called receptivity. Receptivity is where we allow people to just receive without giving anything back. For me, it's, it's opening up the heart, it's opening up the heart chakra, it's opening up all of the fears. It's just letting all of that go away very viscerally, cellularly, in a way that people could really feel it. And I feel like it set the tone. It set the tone for the whole trip. We're all successful here. Every one of us are successful, but I'm talking about the next step, the leveling up. Um, I thought I'd actually done a lot of work on receiving compliments. Um, 
because I know that that's something I've really struggled with in the past. Um, what I felt still really triggered by was anything that's about my physical. Yeah, and that's a trigger for you, hon. So open that up. So just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Now, I want you to see who you are, okay? I want you to see who you are in my eyes, okay? See who you, see who you are. Just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay? Now, I want you to see who you are. I want you to stay here. Stand out. Stand out. Come here. Come here. Come here. See her as that little girl inside, the one that wants to play, the one that wants to be loved, the one that wants to feel wanted, the one that really knows that she, she's here for a purpose in life. Breathe it in, honey. It's okay. Just breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe. They see who you really are, so you don't have to pretend. Okay? Take a deep breath. Say, see me. Say, see me. Say, see me. Say, say, see me. Take a deep breath. Feel me. Love me. Touch me. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. So you know I'm touching you right now, right? Is that okay? Okay. You feel safe? Okay, good. Let's take a deep breath. There you go. And say, touch me. I'm willing to trust. I'm willing to be willing. Just say, I'm willing to be willing. That's all. Perfect. Is it all right? Do you feel still still feel safe? You good? Yeah. yeah. We've had a very masculine leadership model. And masculine is important and it's good when it's blended with the feminine. It's not woman or man. It's the energy and the spirit and the way of thinking that comes into being. Put your hand on her. Make sure she knows you're there, even with this hand. Okay. Right? So just, just let her know. So they're looking for leadership. They look to you to be the leader. They want your leadership. In preparation for the Galapagos, I wanted the participants to pause for a moment and feel the relationship between themselves and an animal. Okay. Would you like to try the blindfold? Sure. <laughs> I'll take the challenge. <laughs> we had in our group a lot of people with significant fears of mounting a horse and I was asking them to get to know the horse, ride the horse bareback, both with sight and then blindfolded. Horses live in the here and now. They don't hold on to anything. They're big animals. So it's really important to gather yourself. We want you to look within yourself and find a center of calm. If you allow yourself, you can sense the calm in the animals. I actually have a fear of horses. But since I was able to work on my own energy and tone it down, and obviously it worked. Since I feel more connected to myself now, I, I can connect more to the horse. And now I understand them as an animal and how I can connect with them. Awesome. Thank you. Did we lick your fear of horses? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. It's about focus. Falling. Oh my God. <laughs>
Focus, intention, commitment, and trust. I wanted to bring in the trust fall for that cellular shift. Breathe it in, girl. Mm -hmm. That cellular feeling of allowing yourself just to relax into the knowing that all is well. Falling. Kind of brings them into to be able to stay in that state of mind, in that state of heart, the fire walk. Spotters, are you ready? Ready. ready. I'm falling. Can we agree we have some doubts and fears? And we pay a price for them, don't we? Often, they slow us down, hold us back, or stop us from living our heart's desire. So I invite you to ask yourself a question. Am I okay with allowing doubt and fear to influence and dictate my choices and experience in life? Yes or no? No. no. Or instead, do I take back power that I've given to doubt and fear? Fire symbolizes that which we fear, that which appears threatening or dangerous. But also, it symbolizes that that which we aspire to. Transformation. The fire walk reminds us of our power to choose between fear and hope. You'll follow a path to the firewalk area. We will form a circle. It's not take a number. You're not gonna be in line. You'll just walk at a normal pace to the other end. When I went through the fire, there's something that happened and it transformed me. I stepped out of the old and into the new and I put the past behind me and it was real. I had extra energy around not wanting to do the fire walk. Even before coming to the trip, I was like, there's a fire walk? been there, done that, I don't want to do a fire walk, but okay, I'll go along. Just was breathing through it, and I put on that other side the vision that I've been carrying for so many years, that I see and I feel and I know and I touch and I taste, that to me represents what I want to be. And so I saw myself at the Hollywood Bowl sharing a song from the heart that I've written and sharing a powerful message. And I can feel the audience. I can feel the night air. I can feel the hot white spotlight. I can feel the people I love. did it, and I can do it. I knew that for me, last night was about what my fear does to me, how I handle my fear, and what I'm willing to do as I'm walking forward in my life. Mark and I did this at the same time, and we got about two-thirds of the way up the path, and both of us hit something really hot. I said to myself, ouch, and then every single step after that hurt. We've been talking a lot about what you focus on, you get more of. So in the moment that I said the first ow, it would have been hard not to focus on the ow. What I focused on, I got more of. And I was like, okay, message received, I get it.
The breakthroughs for me was around absolutely waiting until I was ready. And I felt very in my power, not worrying about other people thought. And I didn't burn my feet. We've had many, many, many firewalks, and typically we'll have one or two people get little fire kisses. This time there was a lot more than I've ever seen, but people got some great lessons from it, so that's what I'm holding on to. Just wanted to say, you know, I really congratulate every single one of you for having the courage to do what you did, uh, reflecting positively on it, because if you're negative, you're not gonna talk about it in a positive light. Mm -hmm. And it is an amazing experience, even though you, you got burned. The truth is, we all get burned here and there, don't we? Yeah. But you're all yeah. freaking here. So what, man? You're <laughs> gonna get burned. Get out there and walk it again. We're headed to see the turtles. These islands, they are recovering. As somebody said, it's like we landed in Jurassic Park. This is a healing tree. I'm feeling a little bit out of place. Working on to it. <laughs> I didn't come here to see fish. I came here to get over my fear. Don't tell me you cannot even keep as simple a commitment as being on time. Have any of you ever felt like speaking out meant death? You can survive your past. Let your voice be heard.